Lindsay Peets and welcome to day 21 of Shocktober. Today we're going to be talking about Death Bell. Oh, we only have 10 more days left of Shocktober. Whoa. Can I believe I've made it this far? I don't want to jinx it <laughs> just in case. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been fun, but I'm kind of going to be glad when it's over. I just want to get to Halloween and enjoy my Halloween and then go back to my regular schedule. <laughs> because oh goddess. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about Death Bell, directed by Yoon Hong Sung, also known as Chang. That's what it's listed as in the movie credits. That's like, you know, one name, like Madonna Chang. Um, and it is a South Korean horror film about a group of advanced high school students who are taking a special class over the weekend and they get locked in the school by a maniac who forces them to solve puzzles. Otherwise, their classmates will die. So let's get into what I liked about Death Bell. Um, well, first and foremost, it's a South Korean horror movie, so, you know, I already <laughs> just liked it on site. Um, but it also kind of reminded me a little bit of Battle Royale and Saw. Um, <laughs> I think the only thing that really made me think of battle royales because it was you know Asian school kids um but it is fairly violent and bloody that's also you know there's other reasons why it made me think of that okay um like I said the kids are solving puzzles and you know getting clues and things to try and figure out the mystery of why this is happening to them um but their classmates are dying every time you know they don't solve a puzzle on time or something like that so it kind of has saw aspects to it. Like a lot of South Korean horror films I feel like they do a really good job with likable characters um, and this one does have a few <laughs> although you know forward jump to my dislikes a little bit it doesn't have as many likable characters um, as I've seen in other South Korean horror movies but the main characters anyway are likable and you do care what happens to them. There is a good amount of gore in this movie like it's pretty violent like <laughs> um, surprisingly violent like <laughs> I don't think you guys <laughs> know because I'm sure most of you if not all of you out there don't watch Korean dramas and that just sounded so just like snarky and hipster like you guys probably don't watch Korean dramas um <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean for it to sound like that. Um, I'm just assuming most of you guys, like the only South Korean, you know, entertainment you've consumed is horror movies, which is fine because they do a great job with horror movies. But for me, like watching horror movies as opposed to going and watching a drama is so completely different because even if you look up like horror themed Korean dramas, um, and by dramas I mean like television shows, like they're TV shows. Um, if you go look up like spooky ones or horror ones, they are so tame. And they're like, if it were, <laughs> if it were, you know, by our rating system, they would be PG. Like they are so tame, so tame. So it's like completely <laughs> weird for me to see like really violent South Korean entertainment. Um, and Death Blood does a really good job. Almost kind of like had almost the level of gore as I saw the devil not nearly <laughs> as violent and scary as that but it was like it was getting there it was a pretty good level of gore and there were great great performances especially when it was you know like the minor characters the students that are like their lives are at stake or they're the ones that get like killed off like they give such great performances and it's almost like really scary like how much they like cry and scream when they're in danger like you really feel for them and that's so great to feel just based on a performance because like I said they're minor characters so you're not supposed to know a whole lot about them they're just the ones in peril while the other students are solving the puzzle or whatever but their performances are just so believable <laughs> like the way they're screaming and crying like it's really scary actually but they're really great performances and there was a nice twist at the end that I wasn't expecting um I won't give anything away even though this movie is a little bit older um but it didn't it just didn't take 
the route that I thought it was gonna take. <laughs> thing I didn't like about Death Belt was the setup to them, you know, being locked into the school and then, you know, people starting to die. The setup wasn't that great. Um, normally in these types of movies, I feel like they kind of like lay out clues or they'll show you, you know, scenes from the past to kind of like set you up so you kind of understand what's going on even though the students maybe don't understand but it's honestly like just a super normal day like I mean the only thing they kind of set up is you know the importance that you know South Korean school system places on like school rank and things like that in your grades which you know for I'm sure Korean audiences and somebody like me who consumes a lot of their entertainment. I already kind of know that. <laughs> That's not like a, a new notion or anything like that. So they don't do a super good job of setting up the bulk of the movie. But I mean, when it gets into it, you know, you get up to speed really fast. Um, so should you watch Death Bell? I'd go ahead and say yeah. Like if you can get your your hands on it. I saw it on YouTube, not in a, like an official way. Like I didn't pay for it or anything like that. Somebody had uploaded it, the full movie on there with subtitles. That's how I watched it. Um, but I mean, hey, hey, it's free until somebody finds that and takes it down for copyright. Um, it's free. Um, so I have to go ahead and watch it. You know, if you're looking for South Korean, it's not the best South Korean horror movie I've ever seen by far, but it still was not bad. I feel like even like their worst <laughs> horror movies are still just like really great quality and that's why I gave it like a 4 out of 5. Um, on IMDb it has a 5.7 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes didn't have any critic score for it and it has a 39% audience score. So if you've seen Death Bell let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday and then every single day this month <laughs> there's a movie review for Shocktober. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay strange.